Welcome to United We Stand. I'm on the beautiful Spanish island of Mallorca and I'm with Martin Edwards, who was the Manchester United Chairman and Chief Executive for 23 years. 23 years, yeah. You've got a book coming out? I have got a book coming out. Your yes. autobiography? Yes. What's it called? It's called uh, Red Glory. Okay, you're looking very nervous because you know I'm going to ask you 12 quiz questions. All right. I realise I'm not the best quiz master and I've made some howlers in the podcast questions I've been asking. Right. Um, but you are a bit of a United buff. I've been to your, your house and your office. You've right. got how many books you got? United oh, books? Well, plenty. I don't know. Well Lots. over 100. I'm well thinking. over 100. Yeah. Okay, if you, get, if you get all these right, you're going to win a night out, all expenses paid in Hull, which is the European <laughs> capital of culture this year. Right. Have you ever been to Hull? I have been to Hull. Have yeah. you had a night out in Hull? No, I've never had a night out in Hull. Only watching United in Hull. Right, <laughs> the, the only reason you've been is to watch United. So, yeah. I'm going to ask you 12 questions. Right, okay. All Manchester United related. Right. And let's see how we go now. Who did United play in the European Super Cup in August 1999? In August 1999, in the Super Cup, St. Petersburg? No. Sorry, the Super, in 1999? 1999, European Super Cup. Oh, um, yeah, uh, Lazio. Yeah, should we give him that? Lazio. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt there, okay. Excluding Rostov, name the four Russian clubs Manchester United have played in European competition. St. Petersburg in the Super Cup. Correct. Uh, uh, Volgograd. Correct. Uh, Do you know that was the smallest ever away following? 142 fans. Volgograd. Is that right? Yeah. Is that right? He's made me a cup of tea as well. Right. Uh, you need two more? Yeah. Um, Right. Uh, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I'll give you a clue. Go. On. Early nineties, UEFA Cup, Moscow. Yeah. Went out. Yeah. Penalties, I think. Um, penalties, Did yeah. Gary Neville play? Was it Gary Neville's debut? I, I don't know, but I think it might have been. Yeah. Another clue then. It's something Moscow, and it could be used as a, an ornament. The word. It could be fired from a submarine. <laughs> <laughs> Torpedo Moscow. <laughs> Torpedo Moscow, yeah, quite right. Yeah. And one more. This was under Van Hall, one old draw. Yeah, I didn't go to it, yeah. CSKA. CSKA. Tough yeah. one, I yeah. told you. Yeah. What's the largest crowd Manchester United have ever played before? The largest crowd that, yeah. that we've ever played before? Uh, Probably in Madrid. Correct. In the semi final? Correct. In 68? Or 58. It's or disputed. Is it? Do you want a Brucey bonus for a, for a crowd? 136,000, something like that. 125, but how could anybody measure? Okay. okay. They're Cliff Butler's figure, so right. take Cliff to court if he's, uh, if he's proved won. to be okay. inaccurate. Do you All know right. what the third highest was? Barcelona, 94, 114,000 yeah. in Camp Now. Yeah. This is almost impossible. Name the entire 1948 FA Cup winning side. We've got one minute. Go. Uh, Crompton, Carey, Chil uh, um, Crompton, uh, Carey, uh, Chilton centre half, Anderson right half, Coburn left half, Aston left back. Uh, your grandfather Mitten on the left. Don't Charlie, yeah. Charlie Mitten. Uh, Pearson inside him, uh, centre forward Rowley, inside right Morris. You only need two right more. Wayne Delaney. That's yeah, oh. yeah, no, you've got them, you've got them oh. all right. Yeah. Wow. Can you name, like I said, the 1909 United team? Moga, Moga, really? Oh, Moga, I was only joking. Moga, Stacey Hayes, right. Duckworth, <laughs> Roberts, Bell. Yeah. Wall on the left, Meredith on the right. Turnbull centre forward, another Turnbull inside left, oh, and uh, oh, inside right. Uh, I said Warren and uh, inside right. Should, should oh, that's be. a good effort. I, I would have been able to name Hulse. two of them. Hulse. Hulse. Harry, yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. United's first European opponents following the Heisel ban was against which team in September 1993? Uh, following the Heisel ban in 1993. European Cup. Uh, European Cup, 1993. Yeah. No. Kiss Pest Honved. Right, well done. Who scored the three goals in Madrid in 1968 in the semi final? Um, right, uh, Falk scored the winner. Yeah. Uh, Sadler scored. Yeah. And the first one was Tony Duncross' own goal. Did you well, go? Tony Duncross. No, no. I couldn't go, I was working. Where were you working? I at Lewis Edwards and Sons. Did you want to go? I, I wanted to go, yeah. Can you remember Black, the goals? You watched it on I, TV? I watched it on TV, yeah. Black and white TV, Black it would have been. Black and white TV, it was on in the evening after the game. Yeah? yeah, yeah. And you can remember the goals? Yeah. Could you reenact one of them? I can reenact the goals. Stand up. <laughs> Bill Folks. <laughs> Bill Folks, yeah. Go on. Go on. Well, George Best took it down the right. Yeah. Bill was ambling up from defence. Yeah. Saw the cross. Paddy Creran told him off. Yeah. Said, so what are you doing? And Bill just ambled up, ambled yeah. up, and just literally side footed it into the net from about 15 yards out. Just straight in the corner. And then you yeah. knew you'd be going to Wembley. Yeah. And exactly. that, what was that like at Wembley? Fantastic. Was it? Unbelievable. I went to that one, yeah. That was unbelievable. Just because you got that right doesn't mean we're going easier no, no. on the rest of the questions. What was your favourite United chant? Uh, I don't know. Glory, glory, I don't know. Any of them. They're all great, aren't they? Former defender Dennis Irwin was a bargain 250,000 purchase from Oldham in 1990. You probably negotiated it. From which club did he leave to leave United in 2002? Where did he leave? To? Two. Where did he go Dennis to? Dennis Irwin in 2002. Uh, where did Dennis go? Oh, he went to Wolves. Correct. Who scored a hat trick? For Liverpool against United in September 1990, it was a 4-0 win. You would have been there suffering. I hope. For, scored a hat trick for yeah, Liverpool for them. against United yeah. in 1990. 4-0. 4-0. Home or away? Away, that? at Anfield. At Anfield. 1990. Yeah. Good team, they won the league. One off. Well, it wasn't Rush because Rush very rarely scored, scored against us. Correct. It wasn't Rush. I don't think it was Alvish. Begins with B. Oh, Beardsley. Correct. Oh, yes, of course what did, was yeah. it like when you sit in the director's box at Anfield with like Liverpool's chairman? And well, what was '92 like when United lost the league there? Oh, that was horrendous. That really was horrendous. Although, in fairness to the chairman, he was he was very sympathetic after as he came up. And, I think he was genuinely sorry because I think I think we'd been so close or well for 25 years. And I think he felt that we'd come so close. He was he was, see he seemed disappointed. Let's put it that way. Why would Liverpool's chairman be disappointed? I know you that say that, but he had tears in his eyes. Whether it was just the path. That, that he, he was crying. <laughs> David yeah. Moores was crying because United had not he, won the league. He had tears in his eyes. Really? Yeah, honestly. But but whether I don't know. Eric Bailly is the fourth African-born player to represent United. Name the other three. African it's hard, born. that. That is hard, isn't it? So, yeah, it's hard. African-born. Yeah, I'd say you get one or two of them. African-born. Yeah, one came from Cape Town. Oh, yeah, uh, Fortune, yeah. Correct. Yeah. Where did the other two come from? One when he finished, one told the story of when he arrived in England. He couldn't understand um, ATMs. How money just kept coming out the wall. He thought it was like free money. When he arrived and you negotiated his contract, I think you did. So good they named him twice. So good they named him twice. Eric, but not Cantona. Midfielder. Oh, I know, yeah, yeah. Jem not Jemba Jemba. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Fourth one. Hard. Very hard. Mammy Diouf. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Difficult. Still playing, isn't he? Yeah. United's first ever European Super Cup win was in November 1991 against which team? Partizan Belgrade. No, 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 no uh, um, uh, Red Star Belgrade. 
think you've got the 12 there, and I think you've got... Red, red Star Belgrade. I think you've got 9 there. Are you happy with that? Are you satisfied? OK, I could... Uh, not really. What's your strong point on United's history? Um, don't know. I know most of the buyers and sells, you know what I mean? Yeah? Uh, some, yeah, great games, maybe. OK. Yeah. Best transfer deal you did? Best transfer deal. Split between Cantona and Schmeichel. One which didn't quite work out as you might have expected it from being diplomatic. One that didn't work out. Yeah. The worst one. You mean the worst one? Yeah, all right. It was a disaster. <laughs> I was the one being diplomatic there. <laughs> Who did you think he's had me pants down here? I've been absolutely hammered by buying that one. Uh, well, in my time, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't really want to say, to be honest, because I think it's, I think it's unfair. That's why I phrased it quite diplomatically. Yeah. Best atmosphere? Best atmosphere, 84 against uh, Barcelona, having lost 2 0 away, and then to beat them 3 3 0 at Old Trafford. Greatest away following you ever saw, in terms uh, of numbers and noise? Uh, probably, well, obviously, I mean, the, the final in uh, 99 was great because we, we completely took over Barcelona. Yeah. But I also thought Rotterdam away in the Cup Winners' Cup final in 91, fantastic atmosphere, great crowd. I thought we dominated the, the stadium. Singing what song? Uh, yeah, Eric Idols. Go on. Uh, oh, always look are we on you singing? the bright side of life. I was actually singing, yeah, I was. Yeah, you, you're your favourite ever player in the time that you worked at the club? Again, very, very difficult. Uh, I think I think the one I used to probably enjoy going to watch the most on the match day was probably Eric, Eric Cantona. Loved Scalzi, uh, loved Brian Robson. Uh, Law, Best and Charlton were all great, you know what I mean, they've been with, with fantastic players at Old Trafford, Giggsy on his day, you know, it's, 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 it's been magical. Greatest game? Um, greatest game, probably coming back again to uh, beating Barcelona in, in 84 in terms of yeah, the, the atmosphere yeah. that night and, and, and coming back. Also. Another great game was, of course, semi-final, Juventus away in yeah. 99, semi-final of the European Cup, 2-0 down to come back to win 3-2 to get to qualify for the Champions League final. Another great night. I mean, it's been so many, really. Lowest moment? Lowest moment, um, probably, uh, whew, I don't know, there's been, there's been a few. I, I remember being very low when I'd just taken over as chairman, spent a lot of money on players. And we went out to the FA Cup at the first stage. We went out to Europe to Valencia away. 82 and, and, 83. Yeah, we had yeah. a disappointing league. Uh, I, I also remember 95 losing the league, the final game of the season at West Ham to Blackburn. Um, when Blackburn lost at Liverpool. Yeah, all, yeah. We, all we had to do was to win against uh, West Ham. Andy Cole and we just drew, needed to. Uh... And we had, yeah, we should have had a penalty in that game as well. Yeah. And it was, just, it was just everything. So that was a very low moment. Um, I'd imagine in December '89 you gave the postman a tip, given all the mail you were probably receiving at the time from disgruntled United fans. Yeah, yeah. Days uh, before email, but, social but, media. Yeah, but, but, were you but getting a lot? I was getting a lot of mail, but mainly at Old Trafford. I mean, yeah. Mail, not necessarily at home. Yeah, yeah. But at Old Trafford, uh, a lot, a lot of mail. Yeah. At what hundreds? Yeah. Oh yeah. Hundreds. Every day. Uh, well, I wouldn't say hundreds every day, but a lot of mail. Um, all open, all read. All, all uh, yeah. I had to read them all. They all <laughs> saying the same thing. Yeah, get rid of Ferguson. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you never, you never doubted it. You never thought yeah, no. Well, I, I never wanted to get rid of him. My, my only doubt was that if things went, just kept on getting worse and worse and worse. I might have to do something one day because people started voting with their feet. And uh, but anyway, we we got through it, and uh, unfortunately, it didn't happen. And uh, look at the success we've had since. Where were United finish this season? I think I finished first or second. Yeah, you're yeah, confident. You think Jose is a man. I think I think he's um, took last season to build a side. I thought he did very very well to win two trophies and to get us into the Champions League. And I think now he's got the players he's, that he wants, and I think he'll get stronger. Have you met him? What's he like? Yeah, no, I met him. Yeah, he's always um, pretty serious. Um, yeah, but I think he understands the history of the club, and uh, I, I, I've, I've got a lot more hope now than I had sort of halfway through last season. And your books out on September the seventh. Are you having signing. any book signings? Uh, I've got a big launch at Old Trafford on the uh, on the seventh. Right. Uh, and uh, apart from that, I don't know yet. 
you could um, sell some United We Stands outside the stadium and maybe bring some books <laughs> along and, and sign copies. I'm sure that would go down well. There was a time when I don't think it would, <laughs> United We Stand would have sold any, we'll of, give, my, any of my books. We'll, but, give, we'll give you a healthy commission. Maybe things have changed now. Thank yeah. you very much for your time. All right, thank you.